with components of a vector. For this, let us consider that we have a vector that is making an angle theta with x-axis and you know that we can find its components like this. So one is a horizontal component and the other one is vertical component. And the component which is horizontal, if that is along x-axis, we call it x component and the vertical component, if it is along y-axis, we call it y component. Now if we take a look at this closer, it forms a right angled triangle like this. And uh, if you notice that you already know that uh, the side which is in front of this angle is called as perpendicular and the side besides this angle is called base. Right? So you have to take notice of this uh, basically so in order to understand uh, the next concept of finding out the uh, rectangular components of a vector. So the side which is in front of the angle is perpendicular and the other one is base and the third one is hypotenuse which is actually the vector. Okay now by trigonometric ratios we know that sin theta is equal to perpendicular over hypotenuse and cos theta is equal to base over hypotenuse and we actually want to find out uh, components of a vector therefore we need hypotenuse and base so from here we can uh, drive formula for perpendicular which is equal to hypotenuse times sine of theta and from here we need to find base so base is equal to hypotenuse times cos of theta. Now you just need to remember that perpendicular is with sin theta and base is with cos theta. Okay. Means the component which is in front of the angle is with sin theta will be uh, represented sin theta times hypotenuse and the component of the vector which is uh, besides the angle will be represented with hypotenuse times cos of theta. Take a look at the example that we did in the lecture that was a, uh, the finding the components of B was a bit different than the usual one. A was just normal so I will not explain this just B. So the components of B here can be found in two different ways now. The first is like this. Okay, Here B is making angle with Y axis that is given in the question actually this is not from us this is in the question so if it is given like this we can find components like this one is along y axis the other one is along uh, x axis this is x and this is y okay you remember from the previous slide that the side which is in front of the given angle our angle is this one it can be here but we are, we are not dealing with this angle we are dealing with this angle angle 53 degrees so the side in front of this angle is perpendicular and the other one is base. Now this component, the perpendicular, is along x-axis that is why we call it bx. Okay, And it will be represented like this because this is perpendicular and from this formula perpendicular is equal to hypotenuse times sine of theta. Okay, Now base is along y-axis that is why it will be called as y component or by and it will be represented like this because base is equal to hypotenuse times cos of theta. <clears throat> now by using these two formulas we can find bx and by just putting in the value of b and angle theta here like this. So bx is equal to b sine theta and by is equal to b cos theta in this situation and we get these values bx is equal to 4 and by is equal to 3 we are using this angle just remember that we are using this angle sine of 53 sine of 53 and cos of 53 now the second method uh, in which we can find components of this vector is this one now we can draw our component along this axis along x axis and this y axis like this now our angle we cannot use this angle now because this falls outside of the 
triangle that we are considering okay since this is outside the triangle we cannot use it in our calculations we need to find this angle <clears throat> okay since we are we are dealing with this angle now the the side in front of it is this one and this is perpendicular and the other one besides this angle is base okay now perpendicular here because it is along y axis perpendicular of this triangle it is along y axis that is why we call it the y component or by and it will be represented as b sine of theta because perpendicular from this formula is equal to hypotenuse times sine of theta and base is since it is along x axis we will call it bx or x component and it will be represented with b cos of theta because this is base base is equal to hypotenuse times cos of theta and this b you know that this is the hypotenuse and its value is 5 now using these two formulas we can find components in this configuration but before that we need to find the value of theta this angle we do not know the value of this angle but we can simply find it by subtracting 53 from 90 degrees like this because this whole angle is 90 degrees we subtract 53 from 90 and we are left with this angle so the angle for this triangle is 37 degrees now we can find we know b the value of b is 5 and now we know the angle also so therefore we can find out components of vector b like this bx is equal to b cos of theta by is equal to b sin of theta now you notice that bx is b cos of theta here and bx is equal to b sin of theta here but the value of angle is different and you also you will also notice that by using these our answer is same bx is 4 bx is 4 by is 3 here and by is 3 here also okay so these are the this is the way we find out rectangular components of a vector